So in this video, what I want to explore is a scenario where we want to use our XLOOKUP, but we want to be able to, to sort of copy it across. Now, um, this, this is one of these things that you would think will be quite straightforward, but it actually turns out it's not quite as straightforward as you think. So um, this, is, this is what I'm going to call a good enough solution for now. All right, and if I find something better, I will post something better. Okay, so here I've got my list of products. My matching thing is going to be my product ID. And I've got my list here of supplier, category, and quantity per unit. And they are in the same order as they are in the original products <clears throat> sheet. Let's click here, reference down to XLOOKUP. And I'm going to use kind of a combination of the table, structural functions, and you know, locking my columns. So look up the value here is my product ID. And then I'm going to go to my lookup array, which in this case is going to be my product ID. I'm going to lock that, F4. And then my return array for this one is going to be the product name. Go back to my product name, and I'm not going to lock this. I'm going to say if it's not found, not found. And the match mode is zero, so it's an exact match. And then I click OK. Now, because the table, it copies down automatically. And what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to cross here to this one, and then I'm just going to press Control and R. Right. And you see there, that will actually copy it across um, automatically. And the Control and R is the way you would copy when you're using tables. And it means then that if, you know, if you're using product ID up here, that it stays locked. Whereas if I do, Control Z here now, if I do this, and then drag it across in the normal way, you see there it actually returns that one, which is not what I'm looking for. So just the little trick here is just to highlight to there, across to there, and then just press Control and R. All right. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, if I find a more elegant way in the future that would allow me maybe to customize more the actual headings up here, I would do a blog post on it. Um, with VLOOKUP, you would have done that, let's say, with a, with a match function. But it turns out that because XLOOKUP is an array function, it's not quite as straightforward, and I haven't yet found a kind of a really kind of nice, elegant way to do it. I've seen a lot of options, but nothing. This is so at the moment, this is going to have to be sort of good enough. Okay, mind yourself, take care, bye.